from school groups or maybe from coming to the house at night. But we're going to teach you a little bit about yoga today. First thing is you might want to move to a place in your house or maybe you're at someone's office or maybe you're visiting family. Find somewhere quiet. And if you don't have a yoga mat, you can just use the ground or you can roll out a towel. So if you want to pause this video and get yourself in somewhere nice and quiet and grab a towel and find a little bit of space. You want to be able to reach your arms out and up and your feet out and not be like hitting anything. So make sure you have enough space. And we're just going to start here sitting on the mat, we're gonna place our hands open on top of our knees. You're gonna bring your shoulders up and roll them back and down. And then just kind of move so that you're sitting equal on the mat. We're gonna gently close our eyes. And we're gonna start with a nice deep breath. I want you to inhale through your mouth and exhale. Inhale again through the mouth. And exhale. Let's do it two more times. This time, inhale through the nose. Really fill up. Hold it. Exhale. Sigh it out. <sighs> One more time. Inhale. Really fill up that belly with breath. Hold it. Hold it. Squeeze your hands and your toes. And exhale, sigh it out. We're gonna start in child's pose. I want you to bring your hands to the front of your mat. Go on your knees. And we're just gonna bring our face forward so you can see the camera or your video screen. And I want you to push yourself back and then press your head into the mat, the floor, the ground. Really take that forehead down. Now see if you can reach your fingertips out forward on your mat. Really place those hands out and spread your fingertips wide like you're giving the floor a big high five. Press those palms down into the ground. Nice deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, roar it out. Urgh. Let all that air out. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, really roar it out. Urgh. Let all that air out. All right, go ahead and take a deep inhale. Bring yourself forward. Now we're still on four, so I'm going to turn this way so you can see. Pretend like someone's putting a bowl of Cheerios on your back, or maybe it's your ice cream for dessert. So you kind of want to pretend like your back is a tabletop, okay? So you don't want to do this, or you don't want to be like falling over. You're trying to balance it, keep it straight. We're going to do something called cat and cow. So when you inhale, you're going to round your back and really stretch like a cat. You know how cats kind of play around sometimes and they stretch? Exhale, bring it forward. You're going to look ahead of you. Now you have that flat back again. Inhale, round out. Hold it here, deep breath. And exhale, relax. Bring your face forward. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, rounding up. We are step back and stretch like a cat. And exhale, release. Last time, we're going to inhale, really stretch and grow that back out. Right? And exhale. Relax that back. I want you to take your right arm. So your right arm is going to go straight out. We're going to thread the needle. So we're going to go through the center. So in between your arms and your legs, you're going to 
Stretch your shoulder blades open here. So reach that right hand towards the camera, and you're gonna bring your head down to the floor, and you should feel this stretch on that right side, maybe your shoulder. And the more you kind of press back using your knees and your legs against you, and against the floor, you're gonna open up that shoulder blade. Another deep breath here. Try to see if you can reach your fingertips closer to that edge of the mat. Inhale, bring it forward. We're gonna do the left side. Okay, so your left arm is gonna lift. Again, you're gonna go thread the needle, go through center. And then you're just gonna bring that shoulder blade to the ground and stretch. You're gonna feel that opening here along the shoulder blade. Really relax into the mat with your forehead. Maybe bring those fingertips straight out again. Stretch, nice deep inhale here. Exhale, relax. Nice job. We're gonna go forward, take it to the front of your mat. This time, we're gonna bring our legs together towards the back and kind of stand it up. So if you think about the letter V, you're gonna make an upside down V on the ground. So plant those feet down on the ground and your palms are facing down on the ground. Lift your toes up and then press them down into the mat. It's okay if your heels are up a little bit. If you need to bring them closer to your hands, you can walk it forward and press it back. Or if you want to reach back and make a bigger V, you can take your feet all the way to the back of the mat and stretch. I want you to really press your heels down. Maybe you lift your left leg and bend at the knee. Take your right leg and bend at the knee. Press it back down. Inhale, bend the left leg, bend at the knee. Exhale, press it down. Do the right side, bend at the knee. Inhale, here. And exhale, press it down. Gaze forward. So I want you to kind of come into a tabletop, a long one, boys and girls. And you're going to hop or walk your feet to your hands. So watch me first. You can either hop like this, or if you don't feel like hopping, just walk, walk it up. Okay, so you decide what you would rather do. Again, you can hop it forward like that or walk it. Go ahead and do that a couple times. Go at your own pace. Hopping and walking forward and back. Hopping and walking. Nice. Press those palms into the mat. And let's hop and press it down. One more time. Take it back. You can either hop it forward or walk it. I want you to start to release your hands. So your hands can come here to your shins, your knees, or maybe you can touch the ground. Whatever feels good, listen to your body. And we're gonna go into one of my favorite poses called Gorilla. You're gonna take your hands and place them underneath your feet. And then bend at the knees and we're kind of acting like a gorilla here. You can be silly if you want and go ooh, 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 I don't know, make a gorilla sound. So when you're doing this, you want to press your feet down into your hands so that you're stretching the back of your head down towards the ground. Releasing all your breath. Maybe take your head right to left. Left to right, and stretch the back of your legs. Let's release here, grab, take your two fingers together, and you're gonna kind of grip those big toes. And same thing, just look down, shake your head left and right, right to left. You can flare your feet out at the sides and come into a Malasana squat. Bringing your elbows to your knees, hands together. 
And then the more you press with your elbows against your knees, the bigger stretch you're gonna get. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, stretch. Another inhale. Exhale, stretch. And since we're so close to the ground, go ahead and slowly sit down and bring your feet forward. You can kind of pat on your legs if you want. Releasing any tension left in those legs. Go ahead and go into crisscross if you want. Just sit like this with me. And I just want to thank you for joining me for some Jessica's House Yoga today. We hope you have a good day. Namaste. If you like to say that word, you can try it with me. Namaste. And that just means thank you. And I honor you for joining me for some Jessica's House Yoga. Be soon. Bye.